This is Marco Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how to make transfer function and how to put two transfer functions together in series, in parallel, or full feedback. To create a transfer function in MATLAB is very simple. So uh, I have two transfer functions showing up on the right upper corner, W1 and W2. Now I want to create those two transfer functions first. 4 and 5 represent the numerator value in the W1, 9, 8, 9, 5, oh, I have a typo, but anyway, um, is the denominator value. And this is the value for W2. W1 is due to the PF of the numerator and the denominator. This is a syntax and very easy and simple to create the transfer function. So W1 and W2. So now we create two transfer functions. We want to put them together and find the response for those transfer functions. We can mathematically do it, or we can use MATLAB to put them together. If we want to do a feedback system, we can call feedback function. We can use feedback function, W1 and W2. And that is the transfer function result. We can also do parallel and series. Parallel six is equal to parallel W one and W two. Serious six is serious W one and W two. Okay, now we put two transfer function to together to create three different systems. One is serial system, parallel system, and feedback system. And now we want to see the response. We want to see the, let's say, step response of the feedback uh, system. We type step, and it will pop up a graph. This figure so shows the uh, result of the step response of the feedback system. If you want to see the impulse response of the serial system, this is the syntax.